Welcome back to Vegas Hall Plays Arkham Knight. We have... There we go. Welcome back to Vanderswell Plays Arkham Knight. We have uh, commentary again. The voice is now working. Um, almost forgot to fix it, but it's fixed now. Uh, we are upgrading Glide Boost Attack. This incredibly powerful attack can be used to take down multiple enemies in a single move. Glide Kick to lock onto your target, then initiate a dive bomb. If you can fill out the bat symbol icon before impact, you will instantly knock out your target and enemy and any enemy standing directly behind them. Uh, instant takedown is so always good. Wait, you're not gonna... Okay, so... We're the trophy time. Um... Wait a minute. Can I just do this? Oh! I lied. Firefly time. Filled this a couple times now. Let the fire surround you. Crack and burn. This is revenge. Believe me on that bridge, Batman. So far, so good. You can't hold a candle to me. Dang it. We were starting to catch up. There we go. Do we actually keep him this time? Got him. Why don't we take the jetpack? Keep kicking ass out there, Batman. Firefly is over. Burns, the cracked, leathery skin, that delightful, waxy sheen. If I had to choose, I think Burns would probably be my favorite scar tissue. Well, burns and mental scars. Right, Bruce? Ah, fireflies taken care of. Now what? Any green guys? No? All right, well. We should have gone out with everyone else. Are you nuts? We got the whole... We're going to come back over here and finish up these very few Riddler trophies that we still have yeah, uh, exposed. What happens when Scarecrow releases his crazy gas? I got a mask. Masks don't work on that stuff, man. Fly super fast off of those now. Sorry. 
We need to shoot that with the car. How do we sh get the car somewhere that can shoot that? I suppose we can get the car up here. What about up there? Between Riddler and Scarecrow on those billboards, I'm kind of hoping for a power outage. Oh, we can see her from here. Get over here, car. Can't wait to see Batman and the Arkham Knight go toe to toe. We get it. We got it. All right. That was actually kind of cool. All right. This cold corporation changed his life forever. Curing his wife, now a chronic endeavor. I mean, that's Mr. Freeze. But what is the picture? Now, I know it's exhausting, but think of your brain as a muscle, and these riddles as, oh, I don't know, push-ups, crunches, curls... Whatever it is your kind does when confronted with a gym mat. Your gym mat. By the time we're finished, there's going to be nothing left of this stinking city. Where is there a picture of a corporation? So anything down here? What's Ivy doing working with the bat? Nightwing's in town? Oh, I left Bloodhaven to get away from that punk. Stop and Scarecrow, not now. Should be right around here somewhere. Burning bat symbols. What is that? Some kind of SOS or something?
I heard Penguin's boys had their back cornered, then one of his little helpers turned up. Oh, we accidentally got a different picture. Faithful servant. Breakfast at Wayne Manor was served at 6 p.m. and traditionally consisted of an egg white omelet, a pot of black coffee, and a pair of mild painkillers served in a small silver dish to the side of the tray. Lately, Master Bruce had taken to leaving the omelet. Today was no exception, Alfred noted, stepping out of his employer's bedroom, tray in hand. This was unlike Bruce Wayne, who would force down bloody slabs of meat when sick rather than risk the loss of muscle mass. But Master Bruce hadn't been himself since the Joker died. Alfred expected some change naturally, but he had hoped his master might relax. Instead, Bruce had attacked Gotham's criminal population with renewed intensity. When Alfred questioned him, Bruce had explained the necessity of striking while the power vacuum remained. Eminently sensible, yet Bruce's urgency seemed like that of a man running out of time. Alfred found Bruce in the Batcave, of course. Already suited, sending revised specifications to Lucius for the new Batmobile. Sir, Alfred ventured, given that we have no pressing leads this evening and sundown is not for another 45 minutes, I thought I might tempt you with what remains of your breakfast. 42 minutes. Bruce kept his eyes on the back computer screen. Alfred paused for a moment, wondering what possibly could have driven the man he raised to keep secrets from him for the first time in 30 years. Very good, sir, Alfred said before leaving the room. Well, we did find a riddle. Maybe not the one we were looking for. I'm going to search for this between episodes. And we'll come back once we find it. A tune in for that. Tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel.